Good day. This will be a video of how to set up the clock settings on the inverter pool heat pump machines that are sold by ITS. Um, this will, in this video, we'll also address how to set up the clock timer settings. So, in order to set up the clock, you can just get to the main screen, press and hold the clock button. That'll bring you to the clock setting interface. Now you can sh short press the clock button. The hour digit will start flashing. You can change that. Short press the clock button again. Minute digit will start flashing. You can short press the clock button. Now your time or your clock has been saved. In case a timer setting is needed for the application and you want to set this up, you can short press the clock button. There is two timer settings that you can set up. You can use the arrows to navigate through these settings. You have on one, off one, and then your second timer is on to, off to. In order to set these up, you can short press the clock button. That'll bring up the time. So now you can edit the hour setting for the timer. Short press the clock button again. Edit the minutes. Short press the clock button to save. On one has now been saved. Uh, now you can navigate to off one, short press the clock button, let's make it for four o'clock, press the clock button again, edit the minutes, short press the clock button to save. Now your first timer has been set up. In order to cancel these timer settings, you will need to cancel both on one and off one. To do this, in your timing window, set, uh, window interface, you can short press the clock button. This is your timing window interface. Short press the clock button on one. Now the hour digit starts flashing. As soon as the hour or minute digit starts flashing, that puts it on the minute digit, you can short press the power button and this removes the timer setting. Now use the arrow to navigate to off one, short press the clock button, the hour digit starts flashing, press the power button and now your timer setting has been removed. You can press the power button, now you're back to the main interface.